Welcome back to Save the Bay's Exploration Center. This time, we're going to be learning about purple sea urchins. Purple sea urchins are echinoderms just like the sea star. That means they also have bumpy skin. Hi guys, welcome back to the Exploration Center. Another thing that I find really interesting about sea urchins is that they have no eyes at all. So, that makes it really tough for them to find food in the bay. To find food in the bay, they do some pretty cool stuff. They can actually smell really well, and they can feel really well too. And that's how they find their food. Another cool thing about sea urchins is that they love to eat different kinds of algae. Algae is another word for seaweed, so different kinds of plants that live in the bay. That means they're herbivores. They only eat plants. Does anybody know where a sea urchin's mouth is? It's under its body. That's absolutely right. A sea urchin's mouth is in the very center of its body. It has five very sharp teeth that sharpen themselves over time. The teeth in the middle of their body is known as Aristotle's lantern. How do they move? Sea urchins move almost exactly the same way that sea stars move. They have two, have two feet as well that stick onto rocks and the different surfaces that they decide to move on. How does a sea urchin taste? The sea urchin uses its two feet to taste things. They act like little tongues that touch all different stuff to taste them. All of these animals are found in Narragansett Bay. That's one thing that makes the Exploration Center so special. Almost all of the animals in here were found exclusively in Narragansett Bay. Why do they have spikes all over them? It's a defense mechanism. It keeps predators from being able to get them too easily. It's really hard for a big fish or an animal to bite down on something that's really spiky and sharp. What's a predator, guys? An animal that eats another animal. Sea urchins aren't really predators. They're actually herbivores, so they're only eating plant matter. But they have many different predators. Things like sea otters or different kinds of fish or crabs and lobsters. They all love to eat sea urchins. Even some humans eat sea urchins. Did you guys know that? Ew, Ew gross. How do you tell if they're male or female? Sea urchins can tell if they're boys or girls, but people can't really tell. The only way a person might be able to tell is if they dissected it. You can learn more about purple sea urchins and many other animals by visiting us here at Save the Bay's Exploration Center in Newport, or you can check us out on the web at savebay.org. Sea urchins at the Save the Bay Exploration Center.